Hello everyone, welcome to GCSC Maths Exam Sprint Series. This question is about indices. It's a slightly long question, not difficult exactly, but slightly long. So please pause the video and give this a try. 8x to the power of 6, y to the power of negative 3 over 4x to the power of negative 2 y to the power of 4 squared. So I need to multiply this expression by itself. So let's do that like this. Now I need to divide it by this expression. Now say you have a fraction a over b divided by c. So I write c over 1. So I can do the same thing here. Now, what we do here is we apply KFC. Keep the first fraction as it is. Flip the second fraction over. And then change the division sign to multiplication. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to change the division to multiplication. And I'm going to take the reciprocal. So, 1 goes to the top. All of this goes to the bottom so 1 there 2x cubed y to the power of negative 1 to the power of negative 2 all in the denominator now let's simplify this a bit so i can see 8 divided by 4 is 2 i can do the same thing here so 2 times 2 is 4 and I have x to the power of 6 multiplied by x to the power of 6. So that's x to the power of 6 at 6 is 12. y to the power of negative 3 multiplied by y to the power of negative 3. So the powers are added up. So I get y to the power of negative 6. Let's do the same thing to the denominator x to the power of negative 2 and here's i got negative 2 again that's x to the power of negative 4 y to the power of 4 add 4 that's 8 that's so much simpler uh, than the top part here now multiplied by this now i can bring this whole thing to the top and then get rid of this negative sign. So he, here's the theory part. 1 over x to the power of negative n is the same as x to the power of n. For example, 1 over 2 to the power of negative 2 is just the same as 2 to the power of 2. So I'm going to do the same here. Bring this to the top and this negative becomes positive. So I get one in the denominator, 2x cubed, y to the power of negative 1, instead of this negative 2, now I have squared. There are a few other ways of doing this. So there are some slightly shorter ways of doing this as well, but I'm doing the basic way of doing it and the most straightforward way. So let's simplify this further. I'm going to start with 4. And I need to get all positive indices. So x to the power of 12 is okay. However, I can see that this x to the power of negative 4, I can move it to the top where it becomes positive. So multiplied by x to the power of 4. So the theory part I use here is this 1 over x to the power of negative n becomes x to the power of n. So 1 over x to the power of negative 4 becomes x to the power of 4. Now, look at the y values here. I'm going to leave y to the power of 8 here in the denominator. But this negative 6 here, I need to make it positive. So I'm going to move this down. So I get multiplied by y to the power of 6. Multiplied by now, 2 squared is 4. 
x cubed squared, so you multiply the powers, x to the power of 3 times 2 is 6, y to the power of negative 2, 2 times negative 1 over 1. Now I can simplify to get the final answer. So I can see the numbers 4 here, 4 here, 4 times 4 gives me 16. Let's look at the x values now. I have x to the power of 12 and 4 here and also 6 here. So I need to add them all up because when you multiply, the powers are added up. 12 add 4 is 16. 16 add 6 is 22. So x to the power of 22 divided by, now I have y to the power of 8 here and y to the power of 6 here. There's another y up here. So I'm going to move that y to the denominator where it becomes y to the power of 2, positive 2. So I have 8 add 6 is 14, 14 add 2 y to the power of 16. Now I cannot simplify any further. This is my final answer.